Hey y'all, it's Kay Ingram and this is For Your Future. Now, if you've ever wanted to get started running but didn't know where to begin, I caught up with an expert from New York Roadrunners. Let's see what she had to say. I am not a runner. I will be real blunt and honest. I don't do it. I don't know the first thing about it. So for people who are beginners, right, and they want to get into it because they have a lot of time on their hands, like a lot of us do, what do you suggest? How does one get started? So I'm new to it. What should I do? Yeah, and so typically in a non-COVID-19 era, it would have been get a pair of running shoes, take it easy, and head out the door. The first thing you have to say right now, and the most important thing you can say, is run if it's safe. If you can run and you have the urge, that new runner urge to head out the door, the best thing is to wear a mask, especially if you're in New York City. Get a face or a mouth covering, get that on and head out. Now, when you're running down the streets, especially in New York City, try and find empty streets. So if you're heading down one way and you see a lot of folks, 180, head back and head to a less crowded place. And then also for new runners, Take it easy. This is what we're saying to everyone, whether you're a lifelong marathoner, you've done 150, or whether you the marathon is not your thing. I love it. I love it. Slowly introduce. I'm like, you brought up getting your uh, your workout shoes or like your running shoes, and not even kidding, I have one pair of those. And if I'm being honest, I don't even know if they're the right ones. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. Running shoes are one of those things that, you know, you don't know until you talk to someone who specializes in running shoes. All right, coach. So what are we thinking? I get started next week, right? You like how I'm pushing it off to next week. Let's just say I get started on a day. <laughs> what, what do you, what do you think is like two to three times a day good? And for how long? Cause I'm going to, I'm going to try this out and then report back. So what are you thinking? Yeah. So I think you should go out. If you're going out next week, I love pushing it off till next week. If you're going out next week, go out twice, right? And see if you can go for 20 minutes each time. So if it's a Monday and a Thursday, just go out twice, 20 minutes each time, and definitely think about run walking. So run five minutes, walk a minute. Run five minutes, walk a minute. You don't want to get to the end and have it just be awful. You want to get to the end and think, I could do a little bit more, but I won't. I'm going to save it. Okay, well, I guess we'll see how this goes. <laughs> I'm excited for you. This is, a, this is gonna be fun. All right, so I'm about to get started. A reminder, this is my second out of two runs. So hopefully this one goes a lot better than the first time. We'll see. Look, lots of people running. Okay, let's join. These are iconic buildings to Harlem. If you know, you know. Okay, so I'm about to go off course a little bit than I went last time because I want to show you guys where I went to high school. <laughs> I don't know him. There it is. Hey. Almost done. Got like one more minute left. We got this. Okay. All right, well, that's it. We did it. Those were 20 minutes. I got to go down a different route today, so that was cool. I decided to stop by my old high school, which is crazy because I never have a reason to come over here, usually. But um, yeah, I'd say not bad. Today definitely felt kind of easier than last time, uh, you know going around the same bends and loops was kind of a lot today because I just knew what I was in store for but I think going down a different route for sure helped so I'm gonna make sure my mask is all the way back on but we did it Woo! <laughs> So I just want to say thank you so much for your tips that you gave me. What was that like a few days ago? And I was actually able to put them to the test. I did it. <laughs> That's how did it feel? I have to say I was really intimidated starting off. You know, I was just like, how do I go outside and just start running? Are people going to look at me? It's going to be so weird. And, um, and I, I just went for it. Right. So the first day was it was pretty good. I was surprised, right? The 20 minutes went by faster than I thought it was going to. So I went out on a Tuesday evening and I went for 1.45 miles. Fantastic. It says is my average pace was 13.54. I don't even know what that means. It's like... 
I think, and I think this is great. Honestly, I don't think I could have asked for a better run for you. Yeah. Honestly, this is a perfect way to nail the first run. I'm serious. Get out there. It's a 13. You know, it's just miles per minute. It's a time that the more you do it, you'll know if it picks up and it gets lower that you're moving faster. Um, but I think that's really great. That's a, such a solid first run. Congratulations. Any last tips? You know, I accomplished my first two runs. What should I look forward to, you know, in the future? The stronger you get, the more fun running will be. So definitely take it easy when you start, but slowly think about fun ways to make running enjoyable. Music, podcasts, increasing mileage. There's a lot of ro uh, road out there for you. So good luck to you. Thank you, coach. Virtual high five. Oh! <laughs>